Hello, my art darlings. Know the art here with another speed art adventure. I am going to give a slight warning to this one. This was my first painting out of the six that I have talked about already. Um, so as you can see, I was painting my nails for all of these videos that I have done um, in the past few weeks. And um, so with this one, I outlined first and then I used my Posca markers. I realized that wasn't the way to go. I uh, was to use the Posca markers and then outline. So this one um, might look a little different than the other ones and that's why. Uh, so we are here today, as the title suggests, Are Aliens Real? And to that, I say, I don't know. <laughs> I've never had an experience with any UFOs. I mean, I've seen videos, but they're always so grainy. Like, even videos today, I'm like, what? Our phones have such great cameras in them now. Why are our videos so grainy? Why can't we have a good um, video of a UFO? Like... <laughs> I've watched a lot of BuzzFeed Unsolved about UFOs, um, like Area 51 and all that. And I'm just like, I just, I don't know. I know like in BuzzFeed Unsolved, Shane Madej's like, aliens are more plausible than ghosts. But like, I've had more things with ghosts than uh, aliens. Like, I, I mean, I believe there are other forms of life out in the universe but like I don't think they are intelligent enough to make contact or to come I think of them as more as organisms on different planets that could be alien like than they are the um, alien that you see in this painting or the um, more recognizable alien of like the green big head big round eyes sort of thing and I, I have also watched videos when I was younger of like alien abductions. And to me, it still seems like a form of sleep paralysis that happens, that can happen, that can explain a lot of supernatural things in the like. But I just, I don't know, we, in our galaxy, us being the only life forms make sense because our planet um, has the three necessary things to survive and that's oxygen, water, and I think there is one other thing. There might just be two things, but you, you need those two things to survive as like our human life forms and, and maybe it might be different for other alien species uh, that we've seen in television and movies, but it's just like, I, I don't know. It, it's a tough subject to say. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you believe in aliens? I would leave a comment down below. I, I will say the, the biggest thing that confuses me is Area 51. We, um, learned about it in school, talked about it. There was the whole thing in 2019 with storming Area 51. Um, what's really funny is I got a shirt uh, from uh, from a, a store where I live and it's called the Naruto, Naruto Run. Um, I was about to say it in the stupid American English version, the Naruto run um and it's it's Nar uh, drawn Naruto um <laughs> and running like a ninja sort of thing um so that that was fun I mean it's also interesting it's like what what are they hiding in there like is I I assume it's top secret since they don't let anything happen it I mean you gotta keep something secret you can't let the whole world or your um, nation know maybe some of the things that are going on. But it's like, it's aliens. Like, why wouldn't you tell us about aliens? Right? Like, I just, that that's the part that confuses me. It's like, if there were aliens there, why are you covering it up? 
why is it such a big deal to cover up about aliens? What What is so important about that that it needs to be kept a secret from us? Is it because we as a society cannot handle the truth? Is the truth too much for us to bear? Is it that... But it's also like, are other countries like this? If you're from a different country, let me know if like your um, country has an Area 51 base of some sort. I would really like to know. I actually don't know much about um, other countries' governments dealing with UFOs or alien sightings or things like that. I only know from the United States, since that's where I'm from, I I would really like to know and, and find that out. Maybe that's something I'll, I'll look into after this video. I, I would like to gather more knowledge of like, is this just a conspiracy thing for the U.S. or is this a conspiracy for everything? And what's also interesting is that we are more concerned about what's in space than like what's on Earth because like we have not explored all of the ocean. Like there's, I think it was like 70% of the ocean we have not explored. Now that is wild to me that we are more interested in space which I mean it's cool but it's like you can only do so much but like the ocean like that's a part of us that's that's on our planet that's our world and there are so many different things um, that are happening like one thing is like is the megalodon still real well I don't believe so there's all these videos and and uh tv shows during shark week that talk about it but at the same time it's like well things have evolved but at the same time it's like it could be living in the depths of our ocean i mean there are giant squids that live deep down there are giant octopuses there are giant not giant but there are whales that are really big too so it's like, I mean, anything could live in that ocean. The ocean's big. It's vast. It's massive. But at the same time, it's like we uh, we don't have the technology to explore its depths as we have technology to explore outer space. Like, we can't breathe in either, yet somehow we found a way that we can kind of live in space on a space station, but we can't seem to figure out how to go further down into the depths. I mean, we can get into submarines and dive down and we have little robots and stuff. I mean, people haven't gone on Mars either, but at the same time, it's just, it's just interesting that um, we are not able to explore as much as we can. I find that more fascinating than space to me. I would like to know more about the ocean than space. And that's just my opinion. And if you think differently, please leave a comment below. I would like to know your opinion um, as well. Do you believe in aliens? Do you think it's more important to explore the ocean or explore space? I mean, it's really up to you. I, I will say I wish I had more on this topic, but like aliens, I guess... They don't really interest me. I know they kind of spooked me when I was younger. I would watch alien abduction videos or like alien movies. Um, I remember War of the Worlds was the like the newer one, not the, the older movie. The newer one with Tom Cruise in it scared the bejesus out of me. Um, I, for some reason, I just could not get over it. I was like... This is what could happen. Aliens could come in and they could destroy us all. And the only way we could like destroy them is with our viruses or with our bacteria and our diseases. And for me, that scared me. Like this thing from out of nowhere just could just decimate the humanity. And it, I don't know. I, when I was younger, um, I could not watch scary movies like it just it got into me so much I mean I can watch them now I love horror movies I don't like gory horror movies it's just it's too much but just the um just the heart poundingness behind it 
Um, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I would think things are real. I mean, now that I've been able to explore the internet and stuff like that and understand that that stuff isn't real, this is how it works and stuff like that makes it easier to watch these movies because then I'm like, oh, I wonder how they made this stuff rather than, oh my gosh, this is a true story or this is based off a true story. Also, the music in The War of the Worlds, that is... I think that's also where it starts the whole boong, um, mania that happens in any action-packed movie. Um, it just, I remember it scaring me. And being in a theater where it's surround sound, where like it was the beginning of surround sound, just like to feel it vibrate in your body as you're watching this movie was, was a lot. Was definitely a lot for me. I'm, but you know what? I, I think it's a good thing to maybe reface that fear and see if I could watch it again. I know it was very sad. Like I I really don't like movies where they like um kill off a lot of people or like um things get destroyed like architecture and stuff cuz I'm like, man, now we have to like rebuild and what about those people that's so sad? Like I got very emotional as a person when I would watch movies like that. But now understanding that it's just a movie, it's not going to happen. It's totally fine. Might make it easier to watch, but it also might just be a terrible movie. I mean, I haven't watched it since it came out. I don't know the the ratings and stuff on it. Maybe it was actually a really bad movie, but who knows? But what's interesting is that because War of the Worlds, uh, um, since it was a radio show to begin with, people actually believed it. And I find that fascinating that it could it was so compelling that it it seemed believable and i guess to me that's what the movie was it was so compelling that it it seemed believable that it could actually happen and maybe that's why it just was too much for me but in the end it just it i still don't really believe in aliens and maybe that might change over time maybe I see something but I've never I've never seen a UFO I've never had an encounter with that sort of thing I mean they're fun to like learn and watch about um I like movies with aliens in them I don't particularly like the alien movie but I mean it was good um for its time it it can be a little cheesy, it being in the 70s or 80s, roughly around in there. So it, it might seem a little weird, but you know, it had some technological advances in its time with the alien and all of that. Um, other alien movies, um, like Galaxy Quest or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, those funny alien movies I like. I mean, Doctor Who is even alien-esque. And it's just interesting that, like, we might never have those kinds of aliens, but, you know, I, there could still be aliens out there. They just probably won't be green with many eyes and pink hair, and that's okay. Maybe they're just organisms that are different that live on other planets and we may never have contact with them or they will never be um evolutionarily advanced as we are i feel like i just made up a word there i'm sorry if it's not a real word but i just you know aliens intrigue me in like the sci-fi aspect but they never intrigued me to learn or read about them as a kid or even now and that's okay it's just it's not my cup of tea and that is okay to have like you don't have to like everything that's pop culture related and you know in the end I am more of a supernatural fan than I am of the alien well are aliens sci-fi or supernatural no they're sci-fi are they supernatural would they be called I don't think so but um I yeah I'm more of a, a supernatural fan myself I, I'm more of the the paranormal than the sci-fi and that is okay to have again um like I said if your opinion differs I would definitely like to know about it I think 
um, having civil discourse about these things is important to have for a society. Otherwise, that's kind of the breakdown or the fall of society in a way. And it's important to see all points and sides. And I would love to hear different points of view about aliens and their existence, if there are any. Or if you've had an encounter, you've seen a UFO, you have it on video, um, I would like to know what happened, what did you see, that sort of thing. But as I wrap this up, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, and I will see you all next time. Make sure to stay hydrated, sleep well, eat well, um, and have a lovely time. Bye!